Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to create a basic body cam camera angle. So on your player, we can have the camera looking like a body cam instead of just the normal camera. So without further ado, let's just get right into this. We can start by hitting control space to open our content browser, go into content, third person, blueprints, BP, third person character, or whatever this is for you, just open up your character blueprint. Once we're in here, we're going to want to go over to the viewport and we're just going to mess about with the camera. Now, whether you're in first person or third person, this will work the same way, but I'd recommend doing it in third person as it will just be a lot easier, as it will just give you that proper body cam movement that we want on our camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the camera room and I'm going to drag the follow camera onto our mesh. This means wherever our mesh goes, the camera is going to go because it is parented. Then we're going to go to the sockets and change the parent socket to somewhere where the body cam wants to be. So for me, I'm gonna do spine 03, and then let's have a look at what this one looks like. So let's move the location back to zero, zero, and let's rotate it to be facing the correct direction, which I think that is there, and that's a little bit too low. So let's try again. So let's try spine 05 instead, move it all back. That looks like a much better position for me. So as you can see now, it's gonna be in the right place. We'll obviously want to move this forward a little bit, and you can also move it down as well, but just keep in mind it's going to be moving wherever the spine socket moves. So I think that is going to look good. Then you can maybe even rotate it down a bit, but also again, keep in mind wherever the animation goes, this goes, which is why we're doing it like that, because that would then just look a lot better and a lot more realistic, which is the effect we're after here. So I think something like that should be fine for now. So let's compile and save that. What we're going to want to do is because this is now technically first person, we want to give it first person controls. So to do that, we're going to tick use pawn control rotation on the camera. Then we're going to go to the character self up at the top and we're going to search for use your and we want to tick use controller rotation your. Now if we were to compile, save, minimize this and hit play, we can see what this looks like. So we're now in first person and we can move around like this. And as we walk, you see we have this effect instead. So the hands are now in front of the camera with the body cam and we look down like this. Now I think this could maybe do with being pushed further forward a little bit, but again this is the effect that we ha now have. This is the effect we're going after and this looks a little bit better. So let's now do this and this looks better. Again as we look down we do we're not having that clipping issue, but the cans aren't now as far in front of the camera as you can see there. So they kind of are, but not as much. So again obviously this is just completely up to you to then just move this about to where you want. So you could turn off snapping to get even more precise, maybe move it down a little bit rotate it ever so slightly and then really just get it perfect for how you want it to look. So this is already looking a little bit better. Again, it's a bit of clipping with the arms just because of where it is. But obviously, as I've said many times, mess about with it to get the perfect values for you. And then if you wanted to go one step further, what we can do is select the camera and search for vignette. So VIG and then what we can do is just tick vignette size and vignette intensity and then we'll just increase this. So let's say the vignette intensity is one and what we can actually do is kind of minimize this slightly, drag the player into the level and then we should get a preview of their camera there so we can see what this is gonna look like. So we set the vignette size to 500 for example and the intensity to two. You can see what this is kind of doing. So this is what we're after here and that just gives it a kind of more of a realistic effect once again. So it's set to 1.5 maybe. I'll delete that from here or hit play and now we have something like this so this maybe is a little bit too intense but again just for the purpose of the tutorial I've done it like this just so you can really see it now as I'm playing this you probably wouldn't want the hands like this because it's gonna get quite annoying for the player quite quickly so we can just again move it I'm getting a bit repetitive now I understand that but I'm just showcasing how easy it is to just change and get for how you want because as well obviously there's no set values for this which is why I've not provided any because every person's character model is going to be different so where you're going to want this is going to be different so the bone you'll attach to will be different the location it will be the rotation all of this you'll want to have it customized for your own perfect and personal needs but i think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do what we've done is we've just created a very basic body cam camera angle so in the future i'll probably be updating this to have more specific things about the body cam but for today this was just getting the angle and having it work how we want so we can now control the player based upon this body cam like so so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it helpful and if you did 
please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.